Okay, this one's uh, about the oil burner flame. Now what you're looking at here is a combustion chamber and heat exchanger for an oil furnace. The thing that says OK is the combustion chamber and part of the heat exchanger. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off of there and we'll look inside and I want you to see the way this flame works. Okay, tops off and the fire's in the combustion chamber. Now, this flame has got an awful lot of air in it. You can see this is not a flame retention burner. I'll do it with a flame retention burner later. Uh, but the flame is moving out, curling around a little bit in the back of the combustion chamber. And I'm gonna start adding air to, or taking air away from this thing. There you go. See, it is actually a darker color, and the flame is much larger. Now, I've turned it back down again, and I'm going to cut it back to where there's way, way too much air in it. Uh, this is a really bad flame. This flame will not produce very much heat because there's way too much air coming in it, and it cools it down. It's extremely important on these oil furnaces that this area be hot. That's what that combustion chamber is for. It's supposed to heat up and glow and reflect heat back into the flame. Uh, but when you put too much primary air into it, I guess you'd call it primary air anyway, uh, it, uh, the flame gets small and the flame gets cold. Now I'm going to start turning it back up again. Okay. I, you, again, you can see the, the flame is actually putting out more heat now. There's more flame to it. It's not a good flame because there's smoke in it. Uh, you really can't see the smoke, but uh, there is smoke in it, and that's going to plug up the heat exchanger. So now we go back again, and we're getting a cold flame in there again, and I'm going to shut it off here in a sec. Now with the flame off, you can see, and I've slowed this down, but uh, you can see the glow from that uh, combustion chamber. That combustion chamber is supposed to reflect heat back into the fire and complete the burn. That atomized, the atomized oil needs to be evaporated before it can burn. So what it does is it reflects that heat back in there and you want as much heat as possible in the flame because you want to make the most complete burn you can get. Now this is extended a lot longer than it normally would stay glowing, but these things should, they should start glowing within about 30 seconds of the burner coming on uh, to start reflecting that heat back into the fire. 